Uh, I had another question. Uh, which uh, chapters carry the highest uh, weight per weightage in CAT 2025 in Q? But why are you asking this? Uh, because I would uh, prepare those topics more effectively and. And more you would want to skip a few topics. Um, not exactly. But and if uh, any topic that I have I haven't mastered yet, should no, I but skip it's not, that? Yeah, so it's not a bad idea. Okay. Actually, this is what I was suggesting. If you look at, if you look at CAT. Okay, and if I look at purely the QA factor, QA, the QA section. Now, QA section, mein, you are able to do almost 80% of questions with just knowing basic algebra, basic geometry, and basic arithmetic. As a result, if suppose you are not so good at permutation combinations, modern mathematics, or maybe uh, some very niche topics, calendars, clocks, etc. This is not a time to actually take that up. Only thing that you cannot do is you cannot kind of just skip a complete, uh, you know, complete section. Let's say you think that, look, I am not comfortable in geometry, so I don't want to do geometry. That's not a good idea. What is a great idea is that if you are going to cover the basic arithmetic and let's, let's very quickly go through those topics. So you can possibly look at, you know, percentages, proportions, uh, you know, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, uh, work in time, and then maybe even speed, time and distance. Now, this forms one set of thing which will probably give you approximately 8 to 10 questions in CAT. Okay. Most of the times. If you look at basic geometry, when I say geometry, what I mean is, you know, basic properties of shapes, their uh, areas and perimeters kind of thing, basic theorems on triangle, circles, quadrilaterals. Questions based on them, you should possibly be able to do another 4 or 5 questions. Okay. And algebra, linear equation, quadratic equation, maybe uh, APGP. And just add to this number theory. If this is something that you cover, you have covered 80% questions. Now listen, out of 24 questions, 22 questions that you will get in CAT, okay, most of the people are not going to do 80% questions. So even out of this 80%, let us assume some of the questions are going to be tough and you will not be able to do it. You will still be able to get that much score, which is enough to get 95 plus percentile. Right? So this I think is the time when you should be focusing on these areas. And if there are some areas that you find tough, you can possibly skip it.